Hi YouTube, welcome to Dr. Vibes, a learning point. In this video, we have covered the drugs that are used in obstetrics and gynecology. Today, we will study a very important topic in obstetrics and gynecology. That is the drugs which are used. Now, this is a very commonly asked question in your vivas and may come as a short note in your theory exams as well. So, whenever you are studying a drug, you should know what is the chemical composition of that drug. What are the uses of the drug? उसके साइड इफेक्ट्स क्या है उसके कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन क्या है और कुछ स्पेशल पॉइंट है इस ड्रग के बारे में नाउ वाइल स्टडिंग आई फाउंड दैट दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग एक 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 ड्रग का डोज दूसरे ड्रग में मिक्स हो जाता है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई ट्राई टू सिंप्लीफाई दैम प्रेजेंट यू इन अ फॉर्मैट विच यू विल बी एबल टू रिटेन लॉन्गर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो वॉट आर द ड्रग्स विच आर कॉमनली आस्ट दे आर फाइव ड्रग्स दैट इज ऑक्सीटोसन देन देर आर सम प्रोस्टाग्लैंड and then there is methargen you also have mgso4 but that is a bigger drug so i'll make a separate video for that so in this video we basically are covering four drugs that is oxytocin prostaglandin pge1 that is mesoprostol prostaglandin f2 alpha that is carboprost and methyl ergometrin that is methargen now oxytocin is a oxytocic drug okay it is a nona peptide right what are the uses now all these drugs kind of have similar uses that is they are used in either abortions either pph or labor so you overall know what are the uses as i told you three abortions pph and labor now what is the particular significance of the drug that you have to know but ek cheez aapko clear hai kuch nahi aata hai to main pph labor ya fir abortions bol sakti hu now to know the details you have to see the video So oxytocin, oxytocin. As I told you, they are used in abortions, labor, and PPH. Abortions, kaise? Early pregnancy mein abortions. No, in almost all types of abortion, like mixed abortions, incomplete abortions, inevitable abortions, they are used because oxytocin. You know that they will increase the uterine contractions, and hence they are helpful in abortions. They are used in labor. How? By augmentation and induction of labor. Or the dose, very important. Hai. And the dose is one to two milli international units per minute. and then you can increase the dose that is also used in the active management of third stage of labor by giving 10 international units im and it is used to control and prevent atonic pph and what is the dose here you give 60 drops per minute iv infusion of 20 units in 1 liter okay and then you have to change the dose to 40 drops per minute So, its ka doses or uses are very important. Hai. Just remember that oxytocin will increase the uterine contractions. So, uterine contractions increase करने से क्या होगा? Abortion में मदद होगा, PPH control होगा, and labour में augmentation induction होगा. Now, कहाँ पे you cannot use? What are the side effects of oxytocin? Side effects are that they will cause the hyperstimulation of uterus. अगर ज़्यादा contraction कर दिया तो hyperstimulation that can cause a rupture of the uterus. Also nausea vomiting and tachyarrhythmias what are the contraindications of these drugs preeclampsia ya kaise aap rakhoge see tachyarrhythmias related to heart to contraindications bhi heart ke disease mein hoga like preeclampsia and heart disease in pregnancy and the point that you have to remember oxytocin that do not ever use it iv bolus because that can cause hypotension and tachyarrhythmias and you have to store oxytocin in 2 to 8 degree centigrade so iske alawa aapse aur koi question nahi puchega If you have read this much part about oxytocin, you are clear to answer all the questions. Now come to mesoprostol. Basically, now we come to prostaglandins. Now they also increase the uterine contraction. So it's coming same use aega. Labor, PPH, abortions. Now you have to become more specific. Now mesoprostol is PGE1 and carboprostol is PG2 alpha. Now how to remember this? What confusing ho jata hai? Kaun sa kya hai? So basically, you see, carboprostol mein A aata hai and PGF2 alpha mein bhi A A for alpha. So you can remember carboprostol PG2 alpha. And the baki ka bacha PG1 that is mesoprostol. Okay. So as I told you, they use in abortions and labor, and PPH. So in abortions, they are used in missed abortions and second trimester ab abortions. In labor, they are again useful in augmentation and induction of labor. They are also used in management of third stage of labor. कितना दो गया? 600 microgram orally orally देते हो. So mesoprostol and oxytocin का साथ साथ काम चलता है. And you can also see the uses are also similar. Abortions, abortions, augmentation induction labor, augmentation induction labor, PPH, PPH. Now they are also used in controlling PPH, preventing PPH. If you prevent PPH, three tablets a day, it will be done. Controlling PPH, four tablets will be done. And you have to give it rectally. 
Now, the upper question of a tablet will hold a kitna. So, basically, one tablet has 200 microgram of mesoprostol. Okay. Now, what are the side effects of these drugs? Side effects hota hai mesoprostol ka. Ab socho fever hoga hai. Kisiko fever, fever ke chills, vigor hoga. Tikka hai. Shivering hota hai. These are the side effects. And very important, they are not used in case of scar uterus and if there is previous lower segment cesarean section. Now come to carboprost. C, A, A for alpha, BGF to alpha. They have only one use. That is control and arrest of PPH. And this is a very important use. Basically, you have to start with one dose, give two dose, give three dose, give four dose, then you have to wait and watch, then five, six, seven, eight dose. One dose is 250 microgram. And you should give it IM, never give it IV, never give carboprost IV. And one more important thing, carboprost causes bronchoconstriction and bronchospasm. So it is evident that you should never give it in bronchial asthma. It is a contraindication. Lastly, you come to methargin. Methargin, met. So it is a methyl ergometrin. This is also used in two cases. Early pregnancy, in case of abortions, and hydrated mole, and in case of PPH to control the breathing. So PPH is made, what is the dose? You have to give 0.2 milligram in 90 minutes interval and maximum you can give 3 doses. And you can give IM, IV, both of them. It is it has an easy side effect that is nausea vomiting. If you don't nausea vomiting, you can say. Now, what is important here in methargin are the contraindications of these drugs which you can remember by the mnemonic topic. P is trauma, P is preeclampsia, I is isoimmunization and C is cardiac disease. So, this is all about the drugs that are used and this is not a short video this is a long video if you have seen this you can answer every question now lastly i will tell you one more thing ki particular us drug mein kya puchte hain wo aapko pata hona hi chahiye first thing is you have to know the uses of the drugs and three uses you should know okay two the puchta hi hai if you know one you will have one more you will have an upper hand so doses and uses sabse pehle aap drug padhne aaoge to doses and uses aapko pata hona chahiye then oxytocin mein they will ask you why you cannot give it IV bolus and how to store it. Mesoprostol, they are going to ask you. Yes, they can ask you about the contraindications of the drugs. And mostly they will ask you, Ki uska root kya hota administration ka? Because see, you can give it rectally, you can give it sublingually, you can give it orally, IM. Uska bhoat sa root hota dene ka. Carboprost, they will pakka ask you about the big bronco asthma and the bronco constriction part. And in methargin, they ask you the contraindications. So I hope this video is useful to you and you can watch this for your revision and for your learning purpose as well.